Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the ultimate financial face-off. It's the battle of the wallets and the showdown of the savings. Today, we're diving into Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And trust me, if you've ever wondered how to make your money work for you, you're in for a treat. This book isn't just important, it's your ticket to understanding the secret sauce of financial success. In a world where financial education is often skipped in school, Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad steps up to the plate. It's like getting the user manual for life's financial game. This book is here to light up the path to financial enlightenment. So grab your popcorn and get ready to learn why Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a must read for everyone who wants to escape the rat race. First key insight, assets versus liabilities. Let's kick things off with the whole assets versus liabilities showdown. Kiyosaki introduces us to the concept of Rich Dad and Poor Dad. The Rich Dad knows how to make his money work for him. He invests in assets that put money in his pocket, like real estate or stocks. The Poor Dad, on the other hand, buys liabilities, things that take money out of his pocket, like a new car or fancy gadgets. But let me make things a little more clear. Investing in liabilities, as the term is typically understood in finance and accounting, is not a conventional or recommended investment strategy. In traditional financial terminology, assets are things that have value and can generate income or appreciate in value over time. They include investments like stocks, bonds, real estate, and businesses. Liabilities are financial obligations or debts that you owe to someone else, such as loans, credit card balances, mortgages, or any other financial commitments. The idea that Robert Kiyosaki presents in his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, is somewhat unconventional and involves a different way of thinking about assets and liabilities. In his book, Kiyosaki suggests that an asset is something that puts money in your pocket, while a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. Therefore, according to his perspective, a house that you live in and that requires mortgage payments and maintenance costs could be considered a liability because it takes money out of your pocket. And an investment property that generates rental income that covers expenses and provides a profit would be considered an asset. This view is a simplified way to encourage financial literacy and thinking about wealth building differently. It doesn't align with traditional accounting definitions, but rather aims to change how people approach their finances and assets. His lesson? Start thinking like a rich dad and find ways to put your money to work for you. Second key insight, the rat race. Now who's sick and tired of the nine to five rat race? Kiyosaki sure is, and he shows us a way out. He teaches us to escape the hamster wheel by building income generating assets. Do you want to be the master of your financial destiny? Then it's time to invest, create passive income streams, and break free from the daily grind. Passive income can free up your time. When you're not trading hours for money, you have more time to pursue your passions, spend with family, or explore new opportunities. Third key insight, mindset matters. Ever heard the saying, it's not what you earn, it's what you keep? Kiyosaki reminds us that our mindset is key. Financial intelligence isn't just about how much you earn, it's about how you manage it. He encourages us to focus on our financial education and take control of our money rather than letting it control us. Financial education matters now more than ever. Despite the fact that many Americans earn substantial incomes, a significant portion still finds themselves living paycheck to paycheck. This disconnect between income and financial stability underscores the critical need for comprehensive financial education. It's not just about how much you make, it's about how you manage and grow what you have. Understanding budgeting, investing, debt management, and long-term financial planning empowers individuals to break the cycle of financial instability and make their money work for them. Without this knowledge, even high earners can struggle to achieve financial security and long-term prosperity. Fourth key insight, don't work for money, make money work for you. Kiyosaki believes in building businesses and investments that create a stream of passive income, so you can eventually kiss that time clock punching goodbye. Passive income provides a safety net. In case of unexpected financial setbacks, it can cover essential expenses without relying solely on a traditional job. 
It diversifies your income sources, reducing your dependence on a single paycheck or employer. This minimizes the risk associated with job loss or economic downturns. Another overlooked benefit of building a passive income stream is that it reduces stress. Knowing that money is consistently flowing in can relieve anxiety and improve overall well-being. Fifth key insight, the power of entrepreneurship. Another gem from Kiyosaki is the power of entrepreneurship. He champions the idea of starting your own business or investing in real estate. The goal? To create cash flow, financial freedom, and the ability to call your own shots. It's like saying goodbye to the corporate cubicle and hello to your own empire. The Four Quadrants of Money Ah, how could we forget the four quadrants of money? Kiyosaki breaks it down into four categories. Employee This is where most people start. You trade your time for money, work a job, and receive a paycheck. The problem? You're limited by the number of hours in a day. Self-employed Next comes self-employment, like freelancers or small business owners. You have more control, but it's often a never-ending grind. Business owner. This is where you build a business that can run without you. You've got a system and the money flows in, whether you're at the beach or sipping coffee. Investor I. The holy grail. You're not working for money. Your money is working for you. Investments, real estate, stocks. These are your tools and you reap the rewards. Key takeaway, financial education is key. The big takeaway here is that financial education is your golden ticket to success. Kiyosaki's advice is to learn about money, take risks, invest wisely, and escape the financial matrix. Instead of being a clueless pawn in the game, become a savvy player who understands the rules. So there you have it, the lowdown on rich dad, poor dad, and the four quadrants of money. This book is your financial lifeline, your guiding star in the dark sky of financial uncertainty. Remember, you don't need to be born rich to become wealthy. You just need to be financially educated. Thanks for joining us today, and may your bank account be as rich as your knowledge. Get out there and conquer the financial world one lesson at a time.